I can tell you, but my face would split in two, and fire would burn your camera. And I'd hate to waste your, I'd hate to waste your your money that you spent on that camera. Yeah, thanks. Um, thanks for being a dork. Seriously, I think uh, a, a big idea is is something that is is really it's like 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 capturing vapor. I think there are so many different variables that play a part. And it, it's it's fifty percent of it is is the client there is the product or the service that you're promoting is that where it needs to be is that already a big idea um, is the client organized enough and, and brave enough to to take a risk to do something unexpected and then on on, on, on the agency side are are they bright enough are they imaginative enough to come up with an idea that has a lot of legs that could grow with the client's products and with the client services as they evolve. And, and can it maintain relevant and cons relevancy and consistency across all the different mediums where, where, the, where, the, where the advertising is placed. Something that is so simple, you can write it on uh, you know, a matchbook cover, but so big that you can take it, you can't think of a, of a place it can't go. My definition of a big idea is something that captures the imagination uh, the prospect the customer uh, and does it in a way uh, that that person hasn't seen before uh, but it also has to be relevant to the brand ultimately uh, for a big idea to work as well as it can it has to be it has to be true to the brand and it has to be true to the prospect and the customer I'd say a big idea is, is one that um, uh, that takes a client someplace that they haven't been before, uh, either with uh, a new way of doing something or uh, a new um, way of expressing what the brand is, uh, using new technology, new formats, doing something new. It's, it's almost like the way someone wants to find a, a pornography, you know it when you see it. Uh, <laughs> the difference between art and pornography, you know it when you see it. Uh, and that's sort of how you feel about a big idea, where you, where you look at something and you just go, man, that, that just feels huge. Um, actually, big ideas, in, in, uh, in my experience, are pretty easy to sell, uh, because they're always usually pretty simple, uh, almost self-evident. So that when you lay them out on the table, pretty much everybody in the room nods and goes, you know, that's a pretty good idea. Uh, so. Really good, really big ideas are not that hard to sell. Other people, they can't envision that. You have to show them how, that it's big. Uh, you, some of them you can just talk them through, but some are going to require a lot of work. Um, they have to see how it works in outdoor. They have to see how it works outside of advertising. They have to see how it works on a t-shirt. They have to see all that stuff, and you've got to show it to them. At least you know, and if, if the idea is worth fighting for, then, then it's worth it to put the, the work in there up front to, sh to sell it. Because it's a shame to see a really big idea die because somebody didn't get it. Um, which happens, and w when it does, that, that, that sucks.